What is it? Hello, welcome to The Essential Gamer. You're watching What Is It with me, Lee, and what it is is Sumatra, The Fate of Yandy. Um, you know I'm not a fan of double-barreled names, so I'm going to call it Sumatra. And it's a story about a chap called Yandy who works in the Indonesian forest or jungles of Sumatra uh, as a logger. He's a, a, a tree chopper downer. And th this is a point-and-click adventure, very similar to the team's last uh, release, football game, which I'll talk about a bit more in a bit, uh, that really builds on all of the mechanics that they set in place with the, the first release. It's, it's, they're not connected in any way. It's a completely separate story. But this is has, has a, a grand um, location and a, a much bigger uh, scope and scale to it. And the setting of a jungle really uh, helps to to give you this sense of scale and distance and uh, a feeling of being lost, which is very much a, a major part of the game. So there you go. Let's have a, let's have a look then. So it's fairly typical point and click affair. You have puzzles to solve, you have situations to to uh, conversate your way through, you have a, a, a plethora of puzzles, many many different things that Sumatra gets you to do, whether it's as simple as uh, clearing an obstacle or something uh, as, as difficult as pretty much um, interpersonal personal relations between tribes people and a logging company. It's actually uh, really really in depth with everything that it wants to do. The conversations are deep and meaningful, there's not a lot of wastage at all. The exploration is really rewarding because you actually end up getting completely lost in these sort of jungle settings and finding so many different things um, that really help to sort of bring the picture of what could well be happening in, in the sort of jungles of Sumatra that is being depicted here. You could sort of certainly believe that all of this is pretty much actually happening. So as mentioned before, this is actually the second point and click game that I have reviewed from Cloak and Dagger Games, who made a football game, which I did on stream, I don't know if you saw that, you want to go back and check it out, you're more than welcome to. And it, it's, there's some things that reoccur, like their flashbacks being held together by sort of static um, in between the two situations that are being flashed back and forth from, that returns. Uh, the, the style of animation, that sort of lovely 16 to 32 bit motion of, of the characters and things like that. It all returns, but in Sumatra, I, I would definitely say there is a visible improvement on the way that not only conversations are delivered and things like that, but just in the, the quality of the writing, the actual story itself, the things that it wants you to do, not only do they make more sense, uh, I mean, the end of football game, you can watch that stream uh, and you can see that it made not a lot of sense. This one actually has a very well-rounded story and theme to it. And that story and theme, it it goes places, everywhere from the effects of of the logging industry or on the jungles of places like Indonesia, to the love story between Yandy and, and his girlfriend, to the, the natives that have to move all the time just to sort of stay afloat in any way. And there's a lot of different themes that are touched on and handled really well here, actually. I was, I was surprised. As far as sort of bum notes, the interaction menu did kind of do my head in as you were trying to get off the, the, the some of the maps but generally speaking there wasn't a lot that I was disapproving of there's, there's some nice surprises you end up doing a lot of different scenarios and things in general that you may not have expected to come from a point-and-click adventure like this one it's definitely a big step up for cloak and dagger uh, the the quality of the the sort of puzzles and, and things that you have to solve are, is much higher and the the depth in the writing and the storytelling is above and beyond what Football Game gave us last time. As far as improvements go, this is a, a remarkable step up. So there you have it, Sumatra Fate of Yandy from Cloak and Dagger Games, a much better release than their last one, and a thoroughly enjoyable point and click adventure for a new age with new types of stories being told. You have to excuse me, I've, I've got a bit of a cold at the moment, so I feel pretty rough. But if this video is any use to you, please do like and subscribe. If it wasn't, um, don't. You can tell me, and I'll, at this point, I'll probably just... <coughs> probably just kill over and die. <coughs> it's okay. <coughs> Not COVID. <coughs>